What's up guys, when I was in Ohio I mentioned that I hit 25k subs and I wanted to show my appreciation so I wanted to do a giveaway. Head over to my Instagram now because the giveaway is now live and it's going to end on Friday. Simple instructions of how to enter and some big big prizes so head over there now. Links on the screen, link in the description. On to the tutorial, peace. Remember to always be true no matter what you do. I never front it. I got my whole cool life on it. Big shot, man. Listen. What's going on, YouTube? Gabriel Say, aka the Truth, checking in with another tutorial. All right. So basically, guys, this one. This tutorial arose when my client came in and said she's having lower back pain. So with my online clients, I occasionally see them maybe like once a month just to make sure everything's all right. Um, and she said she was having lower back pain and I was thinking, well, all the exercises that I've given you, you don't really put a lot of stress on your lower back. So let's try and explore what the problem is. I went straight to the leg press because this is the famous one and straight away her bum's coming off. The, um, the bench. I was like, yeah, there we go. That's the problem. As soon as your bum comes off of the pad, you're then putting all the force onto your lower back. So it curls and then you're, you're, it's almost like you're trying to extend your lower back first and then push through your legs. So, as you can see in this clip, my bum's coming off and then as I go to push, it has to recurl to go back up. Now this is wrong. The way you want to do it, and I know the reason why people do this, because they want to get depth. Now if you want to get depth, you don't need to have your bum come off the seat. Like I say when I do the squats, like I say when I do, when, with most leg exercises, they open up the hips, open up your hips and allow your knees to go, you know, either, almost either side of your body. But you want, it, you want that flexibility in the hips to be able to come down low without your bum coming off the seat. So push your knees out, as you can see in this clip here. Now, if you are just wanting to work the quads predominantly, because when you push your knees out, you'll feel it a lot more in your hamstrings and your glutes because you're, you're getting more depth, so you're getting more glute and hamstring activation. If you just want to activate the quads, uh, well, mainly the quads, then just come down, without opening up the hips, just come down to a point where your bum doesn't come off the seat, basically. You're not cheat in the range of motion because that is the range of motion. You don't want to do knee spasms where it's just like a two inch, two inch move up and down, but you want to get um, depth, but without your bum coming off the seat. As you can see in this clip here. Now, the other thing that I tend to do is I will keep, it's, kind of, it's not really arching my back, it's keeping a neutral spine, but it allows me to, focus on forcing my glutes and my um, lower back into the, into the pad of the leg press. So then all the force is just going straight through my legs as opposed to allowing my back to take some of it because um, we are doing a leg workout, not a lower back workout. Um, so lo and behold, these little changes, there's now no more lower back pain. So problem solved. And I thought this would be a good tip to share with you guys, um, maybe beginners or maybe people who have been going to the gym for a while who just experienced lower back pain but have never been taught um, the proper way to do it. Uh, we're always learning, I'm always learning. But that's it. I'll be back next week with another tutorial. I'll be back tomorrow with machine mode highlights. Don't forget to subscribe. Like, comment, share, and until next time, peace.